Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to do these um, beads on this page. I shall just zoom out so you can see this is the um, sort of ribbon design from Johanna's Christmas and uh, I quite fancy doing these little beads in a sort of gold and silver style and they're quite small so it's not the easiest way to do it but I thought I would just show you how I'm going to go about it. I thought it might be fun. I'm not going to do the whole lot because it goes across on the next page. I thought if I just demonstrate just this little bit here then if you like the idea you can just do it through the rest. Now my plan is to do the round ones in silver and these sort of other bigger different shapes in a gold and I'm going to start off with my darkest grey that I intend to use which is the number two. Um, this is the cold grey 4255 and I'm going to start with this one and I'm going to put a little bit at the bottom and that's all I'm going to do on each of these. Now the idea is that we're going to create a little idea of shadow at the bottom of the beads. I think there would be a shadow at the bottom. Now if you're doing a larger size item then I would do it all the way around to give the more of an idea that it's spherical but because that we've only got a little bit of space to play with we're going to do it in a more simplistic way and it makes it quicker as well. So I'm going to do that one. I'm just going to do that one and that's all I'm going to do of those and then I'm going to grab my next grey. I think I'm going to go to the show you it's quite hard to see with this light cold grey 3252 so I'm going to do a little bit above that and I'm going to you can see I'm doing it very gently I'm trying to blend it into the previous colour a little bit and I'm leaving some white at the top and that's key we want that white I find that if you don't leave white it just looks like flat grey if you leave a white it gives more of an illusion of silver. Uh, it's still quite tricky I find to get a silver. I find gold easier. I don't know why I'm more practiced at gold which could partly be the reason. But uh, I just and of course there would be a bit of shadow here at the top of each little ball from where the um, thing above is shading but we just don't really have the space to put that in so that's it for the gold for the silver I mean that's that's all I'm doing for those at this point and now I'm going to do the gold now I really like the um, green gold here we go which is number 268 and that, it looks like that but you can use any sort of brownish yellow I suppose would be the shade. Now because this has got this line in the middle it's a little bit of an awkward shape. I'm just going to start with this one. It's a bit easier. So we're going to do it in the same way as the other. So leave a bit of space for a second colour. Now this one I'm going to do a little bit here but I'm thinking this is supposed to be sticking out so it'll be lighter there. So maybe um, no I think we'll treat it as if it's two pieces. We'll do it like that. That's, uh, that's my thought on the whole thing. And then we want to go in with a lighter um, yellow. Um, I'm just trying to choose between the two. I think I'm going to use this one. This is the, this, whoops, sorry. This is a Naples yellow. Gosh, I can't get it to show up. There we go. And it is number, I'm struggling to see, 185. It might be light Naples yellow. I'm not entirely sure. I shall, as I said, in the description it will go and you'll be able to go and check and see what it is. And I'm just trying to blend it in like I did exactly the same as I did with the silver. Blend it in and leave a little bit of white at the top. Now it's quite simple. If you have a bigger shape area then you could do more shades of you could start darker and you could go lighter but this is just a little space so here we go there we go that's those done 
and what I'm going to do now is to show you how I make it look a little bit more sparkly with my um, trusted white gel pen. Sorry, the page is really moving, isn't it? Sorry about that. Now, with the white, it's no good putting it here where it's already white. It's not going to show up. So I'm going to put it here where we've got a dark area. It's not going to work. Hang on. This is scribble it on a bit of scrap paper. So I'm going to put it here on the side here and I'm going to make it consistent through down there. It's a bit trickier on this one because it's a different shape. On this side. Down there. On this side of this one. Down there. There there and hopefully that gives more of an idea of a shine I can't zoom it in anymore because it will go blurry so unfortunately I can't give you a real close-up but it just makes it look a little bit shiny a little bit more like it's metallic and I will continue that all the way through these beads and these beads and all the way through even onto the other page every bead will be in these silver and gold Christmassy colours so there we go. I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching and happy colouring.